Okay, everybody, another exciting adventure for me and Alex coming up. We're about to take a drive up to Idaho that's got a yard full of a bunch of really nice old cars. I'm super stoked to go see these cars. There's a lot of really nice cars from like the 50s, 60s, older stuff. I've been talking to the guy. Um, pretty stoked to see what's going on. There's a couple that I've got my eye on. There's a Pontiac Catalina that I really think is way cool. There's some dusters, a couple other mo cars. So stay tuned. We're going to take you guys up there and we'll show you what's going on at this really cool place. Man, what are we doing? What kind of car stuff? We're driving. We're driving north. Are you excited? Yeah. What are you thinking? What's going to be there? Probably Chevy's. <laughs> I think that's a good good assessment. There's a lot of Camaros. Already, yeah, there are a lot of second gen Camaros, which I would love to get my hands on again and build some more. I already told everyone about that 65 Catalina that I've got my eyes on. She's not a huge fan of it. I think it's cool as hell. Let's get a Monaco. There's actually a pretty cool Fury. There's a four-door, really good shape, like 67 Fury I was looking at. So, I don't know. Guess we'll see when we get there. Guess we'll see. Guess we'll see. Take the stupidest videos. It's just filler footage. I don't want it. <laughs> Can you say that again? Coming into Idaho. Yo, basic sign. Hell yeah. Pontiac. And you can see over here on the side of the passenger side, it looks like there's some raised areas that would mean this should probably be a 389. So looking at the frame rails and everything underneath this Pontiac, even the floors look pretty good. Sitting here all these years. Cool. The floor doesn't look too bad. Still complete on the interior. Cool. Door even shuts nice still. All these second gen Camaros. Nice. I bet it does. This looks like a 71, 70, actually based on those bumperettes, it's probably a 73 or four. Charger, holy crap. Stories this thing could tell is right. That's a Camaro steering wheel too. How funny is that? That's a second gen Camaro steering wheel. Yeah. Yeah, this is a Charger. Probably 73 or 74 based on these big bumperettes. How cool is that? You used to have one of these, didn't you? Yeah. Trail duster. It's in great shape, all things Body. considered. Yeah. Wow. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's even a stick shirt. Huh, how fun is that? Keys are still in it. Mm. A little bit of rot on this side. It's still way cool though. I don't see that much. 
The swept line is pretty damn cool. This power wagon right here. Trail duster. It does smell like it still runs. Probably 318. Complete. That's neat. There's a nice dart. This is a 71 duster that someone swapped a four speed into. I checked the VIN with him already over the phone. So it was a G code, which means that it was not a 340 car, 318, but there is a stick shift sticking out of it. Alex is having her Mopar fun with the trucks. It's a nice Ram charger. This one here is in pretty good shape. 73, 74 club cab. No, ugly. <laughs> oh, babe. This That's big cool. old guy, he's cool. Had a rough day on the driver's side. Someone probably threw a brick at it, I bet. Brown Co. Farms. Big Bob's cousin. Keys are still in it. And it's got a stick. And it looks like it's a two-speed rear end because it's got that second little shifter bang going over there. That's neat. This is like a 67 Plymouth Fury. In pretty good shape. This Plymouth is in really good shape too. Or a four-door. Oh, baby. Come over here. Saying it's kind of unfortunate that this car is sitting here without an axle on the frame rails because... For all we know, those could be rotted pretty good. They might be drying okay still, but we don't know for sure. The rest of the body of the car, the frame rails, the floor looks really good. But that's kind of hard to know. There's a lot of floor sitting on the ground here. There's a creepy cowboy boot. Under the creepy cowboy boot? Mm -hmm. Oh man. Yeah, she's a little rough. I'd still give it a go. This DeSoto's gangsta, babe. This thing's seen some days. That steering wheel. The size of that front fender. Look at this tumbleweed. Listen, I'm a New York boy, okay? I'm not used to this stuff. This is cool. What'd you just call me? City Slickers. <laughs> car, I was going to say that. It it's a 73 or probably 74 Charger SE. <laughs> Seen some better days. Wow, I still love this Catalina. That thing is nice. Oh, those are Buick front ends for sure. At least they kept these organized. You got Oldsmobile, Olds. That's like a 64 Buick, maybe Electra. This is a, this might be a LeSabre, like a 68. The saber, you can tell by that swooping body line. Mm. That's a, I think that's a wildcat. That's, that's a 65 four-door wildcat. Look at the patina on that bad girl. She's beautiful. Let's step in here through the thickets. Sorry. She is a wildcat. Damn. This thing's nice for a four-door. Love that. The Buick? Okay, let's see what it looks like underneath. Looks like it's okay. Frame looks decent. Yeah, looks like we're in pretty good shape. Trunk floor is still in there. This corner usually rots out by this body mount. Same thing on my 66. Man, Wildcat four door. Maybe this one will come home with us. This thing does not have a single dent on it. I'm amazed. Like, extremely clean, way clean. 66 Impala SS sitting in my front yard. Yeah, I did. I pulled that out of here. That thing's beautiful. 27 years, give it a shot of gas and fire it up that fast. Oh shit. And it's an SS car. Yeah. And yeah, she spins over. And keep pressure and on the nail head. See how far we can roll it, see if there's any rust in the top of the cylinders. Alternator sounds like shit. Could be the sand in it. <laughs> Mad Max. Uh, I'd say that was a full <laughs> rotation. Yeah. 
it's getting softer so it's definitely going to the top and back down yeah i can hear compression i think this is a 430 which is pretty That's cool wildcat power original engine on this thing where is he don't scare him where is he oh Alex always bringing in the wildlife. Let you get that Buick. You'll let me get the Buick? Over that Pontiac? Over the Pontiac? Yeah. For real skis? For real. I guess uh, couldn't be sad about that either. Damn, look at this Buick special. That's cool. This one's Man. Yeah. Babe, that, that four-door Buick has no not one dent on the car. Did you see this Dodge truck? Oh, here's a little Skylark. It's like a 64. Nice. Look at all the plates that are on the side. What a place. Oh, how did I walk past this and not realize it? That is way cool. Yeah. Right? That, that thing is cool. cool. That would be a sweet truck to restore. I want that yeah, truck. Or drive it just as it is. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> is that a D100? Not quite sure what this is. <clears throat> Man, that's pretty. Door still opens. Stick shift. So it's really nice. <laughs> Two door, I think, with Sabre. Really nice. You guys know that I love Buicks. So I got my Wildcat at home. A lot of really cool old trucks too. Man. Way cool. The sun's right on, but that Bonneville's pretty cool. Is it a two door? Yep. It is. It's like a 64 or five Pontiac Bonneville. Oh, that's neat. That is way neat. That's what I want, but I want a Dodge. Yeah panel truck mm -hmm. I bet someone died in that crash uh oh R.I.P 62 or 3 Buick Electra maybe she's a 4 door but man yep I was right it's an Electra you can't beat the styling of those cars Look at that back end. Buick, baby. Look. Wacker, Wacker All Company in Idaho Falls. Cool. This is like a 70, 71 Ford Torino. Someone, I don't know if they put this sunroof in here or if that's factory. The molding looks aged equivalent to it. That, I don't know. Ford guys ring on this one. That might be added or original. Still got a block sitting in it. Man, she's rough though. Still pretty cool. All these tractors over here too. What'd you find, babes? A panel, truck. panel truck? Yeah, that's like a 64 Barracuda, but I didn't even recognize it because it's sitting up on that axle like a lifted whatchamacallit. You find your panel truck? Ooh, this Ford Custom 500. Nice. Ooh. Babe. Oh, it's got a 318 Poly in it. Babe, we need this. I'm not kidding you. You can see how the ribs, those grooves are on the side of the valve covers. That means the 318 Poly is the same engine in Big Bob. This is sick. I know. It's a stick too. Not that stick. That stick. Eighty-eight. That's cool. Oh my god! It's an old postal truck. No way. United Services? Cleaner World, maybe? It's from Montana. Huh. Yeah. She's a Dodge. I wonder what year it is. 60s? 
60 something. Z door opens. Z floor is no more. Looks like they've got wood supports in there. That's fun. Man, look at the shag in here, honey. <laughs> a 56 Fairlane or Crown Victoria, it's but it's cool as hell. I'm obsessed with it. It's super cool. It's Let's see if we can get some badging. The patina on is excellent. It's She's sitting in the ground though. She's got no rear end. The frame looks like it's kind of still there though. The trunk. Sure. It is a fair lane. Mm. Cool. Yeah. I was thinking it's either a fair lane or a crown Vic. So this like bronze goldish trim. They don't make them like they used to. No engine in there though. One of the few we've seen out here without an engine. This GMC panel truck is super cool too. It's like a Oldsmobile, maybe a 442 or a Cutlass. That's cool. 67 maybe. Sweet. Two door. Someone would like this. Some intakes in there. Long tubes in the back seat. Not for the moment, not against them. That looks like a 74 Valiant or Duster. It's got the V on the van. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's like a 74. Did they put tags on the Dusters or just stickers? Um, they were stickers usually. Uh, Kind of thing. The gold duster over there has got a sticker, and then the little orange duster has got a sticker. Yeah. Well, they got. I think right here on the fender, you can even yeah. see where one was. They would put like a the little rectangular valiant. Yeah, let's I say there, and then underneath. The other one is up here. Yeah. The little orange one. Yeah, it was anyway. Like it's like a. It's like a little silver rectangle, right? And it says valiant, and then. Actually, mine says duster. And then it's painted duster. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a yellowish color on the inside. Yeah, the early seventies. Right. This is where they put the value in. Dude, Baker. That's cool. There's another like '69, '70 looking Oldsmobile. I think. What do we got? Or is it a Chevy? Cool. What you got, Babs? Where's another Buick? 65 or 6. Could be a wildcat. What you got? Oh man, that wagon. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's cool. What is it? Dodge. Uh... I've never seen a grill like that before. No engine in it. Oh, it's beautiful. It's way good shape. That's cool. Can you get a price on this one? Man, this thing is neat. Look at those fins. They really are. The patina on it's gorgeous too. And that back, those side windows. Yeah. Uh -huh. Even the those little lines that they built in here and that like C pillar. It's way cool. Yep. Another duster. And they usually did those split roof line. What year is yours? It's a 74. 74. That's a four door. It's a Impala, I believe. Yeah, it's like a 67 Impala. That's pretty. A lot of really good stuff here. Just like parts, if you're looking for them. 68, maybe 69 Le Mans. 
someone hacked to hell. Not much left of it. Still an engine though, two barrel. Nice front grill, all things considered. Nova. Oh, excuse me. That is way cool. <laughs> Get it, babe. Oh. Perfetto. Oh. Babe, it's a Peterbilt. Peter. It's like a, oh, it's an old Dodge 800 next to it, too. Oh, the sides sick. of those engine panels lift off and open outward. It's so cool. Babe, where are you right now? Heaven. Yeah, looks about right. Sounds sick. So cool. Yeah, this thing is sick, sick, this Dodge truck. It's even still got the horn on it. Alex is pointing out, based upon the wheels and the OD green on this thing, probably an old military truck. Someone painted red, and then you can see where it's fading yeah, out until... Force. Uh, there you go. That's sick. Super cool. There's one right there, baby. It's crazy for me. Oh, yeah. It's an old five-ton. <laughs> Sweet. Is it a five ton? Oh, it's like a big hauler or some kind of modification was done to it to dump on the back. That's cool. Perfetto. I want some pizza too. What a beautiful night. What a night. It's awesome. 67 Galaxy or Fairlane two door. I forgot if I showed this before, but that's really nice. No engine. It's got a four speed in it though. Maybe a Muncie. Losing daylight, babes. All right. Lots of uh, pickups, lots of square bodies. Some more bunnies. There's a few pretty Dodge stuff lines over there. 318. 200 horsepower. Okay, babe. So what's on our wish list so far? We've got that really cool four-door 65 Wildcat. There's that really neat trail duster. trail duster you like. There's that panel truck, which he doesn't want to sell right now, which you really want. No, it's not really the year I like. Okay. There's that super cool white Dodge wagon. That thing's really cool. And then, I don't know, everything else. Give it all to us, all right? All right? Okay. Yeah, that uh, that white Dodge is a 60 Dodge Pioneer, right, honey? Mm -hmm. And then the Dusters, they're both uh, a little bit too much, I think, to do. So we're probably gonna lay up on the Dusters, but yeah, got a couple of really cool ones. We'll see what happens. Right, so I need to clarify before, I called that Wildcat a 65, it's actually a 67. 65 would have had the big round Wildcat emblem in the grill. 67, a little bit different up front. I didn't see that swept line going down the side of it just because, I don't know, I was caught up in the excitement of the day and plus the shadows were kind of on the car, but totally 67 taillights. And uh, I take my Buicks very seriously and Wildcats in particular. So I just want to make sure I put that out there. I made a mistake, but yeah, it's a 67, which also explains why I was trying to figure out why I didn't have a 401 in it, even though it seemed like a very complete car and that was probably the original engine. 1967 was the first year they put the 430 in the Wildcat and that 430 produced, I think, 360 horsepower, 375 foot-pounds of torque, or 475 foot-pounds of torque. So it's a pretty badass motor. So uh, we'll see what happens with this one. Well, we got back yesterday from our fun trip to Idaho. Yeah, I got a haircut, so what? <laughs> and uh, we've been thinking about the cars and Alex and I fell in love with that four-door 67 Wildcat and that really cool 60 nine-seater pioneer wagon, right? well, it's a 1960 dodge, dodge dart, dart pioneer, pioneer wagon four-door station, four -door station, wagon. station wagon nine-seater nine passenger nine. 
nine seater, nine passenger, whatever. We love the car. Mm -hmm. We fell in love with the Wildcat and the nine seater Dodge station wagon. Made an offer. They didn't quite meet us where we were. He doesn't want to sell them, babe. I guess he just doesn't want to sell them, you know. I, I don't think, and I'm not on here to bash him by any means. And if he sees this video, you know, we really appreciate letting us come onto the property and seeing all the cars and having a good time. We'd love to buy them, but I just think that the the pricing for what he was thinking is a little bit more maybe towards his heart than where I think the cars are truly valued. I mean, I'm not just pulling numbers out of the air, just looking at, you know, reputable guides to see what a number four value car would be in that condition. And then, you know, basing it off of where it really actually is with the amount of rust or lack of parts, whatever on it. So I guess it just wasn't meant to be for us for getting those cars this time around, but we had a really good time. Hope you guys enjoyed the video because it was a lot of fun. Those cars were beautiful. You can never have a bad time walking around old iron like that. I mean, mm -hmm. that's got a lot of stories to tell and I don't know, it was a lot of fun. So mm -hmm. hopefully maybe we can make a deal in the future. If not, there's other yards out there, right? There's other cars for us to buy. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. What do you have to say, babe? I'm <laughs> doing all the talking here. Say. You got nothing to say. No. Nothing to tell the world. No. All right, well, that's it. Make sure you guys uh, subscribe subscribe to the like, channel. comment. Let your friends know about it. Tell us what you like about the cars. Tell us what you think. I'm sure there's a lot of you that are going to see cars in this video that you're going to want too. So, you know, that's it. We'll see you guys in the next Wild Finelli video. <laughs> Thank you.